Hey guys, check it out. Got another little project here. This was just dropped off by the guy that had uh, that, that owned that Pentium 4 from hell. I'll put a uh, link up there so you can check out that video. Uh, I have no idea what's in here yet. But you can see something really weird about this case here is, you know, the part where you open it is here. But if you look at the back here, you can see, I mean, there's no, uh, there's really no video output there no us there's two usbs there but uh there's no video out and it looks like there was a video card in there that was pulled out but there's also a sound card in there and a usb expansion card along with a modem and a networking card so just to try I'm, i've been trying to get in here and figure this out and it looks like you got to pop the front cover off and then the panels slide out towards the front which is pretty interesting so let's go ahead and get this thing opened up All right, it's got a uh, uh, CD burner here, uh, CD-ROM here, 52 speed here, 40 speed here. Uh, we got a floppy drive here with actually has a floppy in it. No idea what's on it. And it looks like we got some ancient hard drive in here. So now should be able to just pop this panel off once I remove the screw. Alright, first look inside. We've got a MSI board, uh, AMD CPU. AGP slot. And one stick of RAM in there. Uh, everything looks pretty clean. I'm just considering, you know, considering what the top looks like and how old this thing is. It's probably never been opened. Um, or at least not in years. Obviously somebody opened it at some point to put the sound card and network card in and all that. But uh, I'm curious if this thing even runs. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it hooked up. We're going to fire it up and see exactly what it is. Alright, so I figured before I turn this on, because I don't want, if this motherboard's good, I don't want to take a chance on wiping it out. I, uh, I just plugged this in, um, let the hard drives hooked up, and I just turned on the power supply and the fan came on really slow and it made a whining sound let's see if it'll repeat that okay, I don't really hear the whining sound but I'm really not uh, trusting this power supply here so what I'm going to do is hook up a different power supply to this just to test this out because if that power supply has an issue I don't want to wipe out this board if this board's still good so uh, let me go get a different power supply hooked up here and we'll check it out. Alright, so to handle everything here, uh, I just hooked up my shop piece, my shop power supply. It's an Enermax 800 watt. And yeah, it's definitely overkill, but you can separate the 4-pin uh, from the 24-pin, so you have a, end up with a 20-pin. Um, and it does come with uh, cables for IDE, so this is actually a nice all-around power supply. So I've got everything hooked up. Alright, so I'm going to give it the old reach around here. And Try to find that power button. Oh, there we go. Springs into life. That fan sounds awful loud. Hard drive sound awful loud. No video output yet. So let me look into this a little bit and see if I can get anything to work on here. Alright, well unfortunately I think this motherboard is toast. I'll just show you what happens when I turn this on. Let's see, see we got a little diagnostic uh, LED on the back of this USB card that came with the motherboard. And uh, that doesn't even tell me anything because that's apparently not a code. Um, you'll see everything comes on. The uh, South bridge starts to get warm, the north bridge gets warm, the CPU even gets warm. And you'll see it'll shut down a little bit because I've got no mounting pressure on it. That's not clipped on, it's just setting on there. Uh, so it'll get warm, it'll, it'll shut itself down. But no video output, no beeps from the speaker, no nothing. I've swapped uh, video cards, I've swapped RAM, I've swapped CPU. 
Uh, I even tried a different power supply just for shits and giggles, but of course, a brand new power supply, it's, it's a good power supply. Um, and there it goes, it, it just shut down. So, let me show you something else here. Alright, so if I set this on beep... You see if there's a direct connection, it'll beep. This uh, MOSFET right there, and this one right there, both legs short to ground. The other ones only have one leg that shorts to ground. I think that's the way it's supposed to be, but this is above my pay grade here. So these capacitors here, same thing. Uh, they, they they're dead short here, and these three, let me move this, these three right here are the same way, they're all, all dead short, dead short, um, these aren't a dead short to each other, but both legs are dead short to ground, so I replaced all these capacitors here, I replaced these, I replaced these, and I replaced these, thinking, yeah, it's the easiest thing. To do is just you know to, and this is from the era when capacitors just go like crazy on these motherboards so that was of course the first thing that i replaced i checked all the other capacitors and none of them have a short either because i didn't pull them off the board or anything to really test them but um i just look for a short everything seems to be in this area right here um so after replacing all of these it didn't change a thing um i desoldered the legs off of this mosfet and this mosfet here just uh, decided I'm just lifted the legs off the pads and there's still a short I took out all these capacitors again and there's still a short in the same places so uh, something is shorted in here and I don't know what it is it's above my pay grade so yeah that really sucks um, but I guess you know on a bright side I did get another sound blaster card out of the deal so that's there's something but anywho um, if you guys have any ideas uh, you know let me know below if you know anybody that uh that does a nice job repairing motherboards let me know because i've actually got i've got a few others i'd like to get repaired uh this is a socket 462 and i forgot to mention this is a uh, msi kt3 ultra board and um this one right here is a foxconn am3 board and this one does pretty much the same thing as this one here, except I I don't I don't know if anything shorted on it or not. Uh, I didn't put much effort into it. Like I said, this is above my pay grade, but I'd really like to get this one fixed. And I've got one other board here. This one does absolutely nothing. And uh, this is a ASUS A7N 8X uh, socket, another socket 462 board. And this one does nothing either. And this one right here, I, I think I'm going to uh, try and replace some of the capacitors on here. Because that's one thing I didn't do on here is, is replace any of the capacitors. But I don't know if that's the, the problem with this one or not. Uh, you know, like I said, this all this is just a little bit above my pay grade when it comes down to the parts that are on the board. So, I don't know. But, um, anyways, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.